you aiming it at? Because it's not a business aircraft, so to speak. It's, it's, but it's not a light aircraft. I mean, what, what is it? I mean, this is a new market. This is a, we can call very light jet. But uh, our target is for the fly club, for a fly school. Because, I mean, all the fly school around the world must change the, to renew the fleet. Mm. So this is the, the plane for, for the twin market. But you've, you've got a four-seater, so do you really need a four-seater for a training school? I mean, I can, I can see this being used for sort of regional uh, business. I mean, it can be also for bright people you know, to travel around Europe and to travel, for example, in Spain, that we have sold more than 15 so far. I mean, the people for private um, business, um, they try to go from, you know, from, for example, from Barcelona to the to Mallorca and every weekend. So, because, I mean, as uh, we say before, 30 liters per hour is cheaper than any commercial ticket flight. Yeah. What sort of range are you getting out of this, Sam? Because, I mean, we've got a lot of viewers in America as well. So what, what sort of journeys would they be doing over there? I mean, the range is 620, 620 nautical miles. And then you have a cruise speed for one, 140 knots. Right. And then, you know, for the takeoff, you need only, for example, in, in, in Spain and also in Italy, in our factory, um, we have a grass runway and only with 350 metres is enough for that twin. Mm. And for landing, 250. What about the actual flying experience? I mean, you've had a play with this as well, haven't you? Using those Rotax engines mm -hmm. must give you quite a bit of sort of perky performance. It must feel a bit sporty. Yeah, yeah I mean, the people that are, are trying to buy that aircraft that have a demo flight, they, they feel like, you know, like, like Esper, yeah. you know. And it's not like, you know, many buttons. And that is good and a good feeling also for the people that start, you know, in the twin. Mm -hmm. Because the majority is scared about, you know, the panels. <laughs> and you can see that it's so easy. So easy with yeah. them. Right, so we talked about the per hour price, but what about the actual purchase price? Because it is, what is it, 280,000 euros, pounds, and like yeah, that? Yeah, it is 288,000 euros. Now, I mean, we start in 2006. And in Friedrichshafen, when we present, you know, the mock-up of that aircraft, um, the price is starting to 235,000 euros. Right. And now, uh, and there were many people that both for that price, so yeah. they make profit as well. You know what I mean? Right. I have to say, I do like this little aircraft. I would love to go for a flight. It is a shame to be sitting on the tarmac here I mean, at um, Aero Expo. Because I mean, Richard, you are invited. I mean, to come to Naples. Water. I mean, or to Spain, in any factory, to have a demo flight. Oh, you know, you know, all, we're going to be. We want this all, aircraft on the, the show people, with all the people that you know are in your team. We would love to. We'd okay. love to. Walter, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very Same much for, for your me. time. And thank you to be here. agree on everything here at fullflat.tv. Now I am joined by Claire from S5 International, which I'm very excited about and can't wait to hear a bit about. Claire, what is it you do at S5 International? Well, we offer uh, air safaris uh, in Australia and Canada. In Australia, which we've been doing since 2004, we have four different tours. Uh, three start and finish in Brisbane, one starts and finishes in Perth, and in Canada we have a tour that starts in Toronto. And on each of these tours, it's a chance to have a great vacation and fly at the same time. And it's ideally suited for uh, pilots or even non-pilots because we can provide a pilot if, that, if the two people joining or the individual joining is not a pilot. So how long are these? And what are you really going to see? I mean, it must be pretty spectacular being oh, out is. in Australia and Canada. I mean, there's amazing stuff to see out there, isn't there? Oh, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, there's an expression that you don't know Australia until you've flown it, and it's very true because when you're in the aircraft the, and, and the, the scenery that just unfolds below you. Um, I've got many, many hours flying in Australia and I continue to be amazed at how beautiful it is. Uh, Canada is the, the, 